I've had a love affair with cars my whole life. I build them in my shop, and I race them both on and off-road. I've spent years on the auto show circuit talking about cars, but now it's time to get behind the wheel and find the next adventure. Together, we're setting out to tackle all things that every car enthusiast should do. This is The List. Hi everybody, I'm Patrick McIntyre. And I'm Jesse Combs. Today we are at the Mojave Spaceport to try one of the most requested items off of everybody's list. Drive 200 miles per hour. World Class Driving has invited us to their 200 mile per hour challenge. Now they've assembled a fleet of supercars here on one of California's longest runways. If everything goes well, we will become members of the 200 miles per hour club. The fastest I've ever driven is, that I know of, is 123 miles an hour in a Dodge Viper. One time I may or may not have driven a little over 100 miles an hour. I'm really nervous about the wind because it is really windy out today and that can affect our speed. Going into this, what I have a concern about is the brakes. I don't want to jump on the brakes too much because that'll throw the weight balance off and if you transfer too much weight to the front, you lose traction in the back. But I'm also really concerned about just driver error. I mean, that's a whole nother animal that you're playing with. Nerves aside, I'm excited. I'm super excited because I can't wait to get out of that car with a big old grin on my face and just think like, I just went faster than most airplanes do to take off. The morning starts with a safety and track briefing. We meet the instructors, the other participants, and then head for the handling course. There are a dozen other drivers here who spent nearly $5,000 each for this experience. First up, we jump in the surprisingly hardcore 542 horsepower Jaguar XKRS to sharpen our cornering, acceleration, and braking skills. One of the things you don't realize is with this short amount of track is that you actually have to get speed going before you start. You can't start from a dead stop. Yeah. So the high-speed cornering got us at a nice good speed so that we would kind of launch ourselves. Good, did that feel? Yeah, it felt right. pretty good. Now it's time to use those handling and braking skills on the runway. Leaving the staging area, we need to make a sweeping high-speed U-turn using the full width of the runway. Then it's hammer down and hang on for the climb to 200. At the first set of cones, we lift and let the car settle on its suspension. At the second set of cones, it's time to get on the brakes hard. If you miss your mark on this one, you could run out of runway and put it in the dirt. I took a test run in one of the slower cars, a Ferrari F430, which tops out at just under 200 miles an hour. I got a feel for the acceleration and, perhaps more importantly, braking from a very high speed. Yeah, 190. That's so good. Really? All right, I gotta. Okay. I need to. I need to go chill out. <laughs> yeah, relax. Deep you for a little bit. We have a lot of cars here today, a lot of supercars, so to speak. But not all of them have the ability to go 200 miles an hour. And it's not a matter of a limiter. It's a matter of just pure physics. I was really surprised how easy it was to hit 190 in the Ferrari. But now it's time to go big in the SLR. 200. Here I come. The SLR McLaren is a thundering 617 horsepower beast with a top speed rated at 207 miles an hour. And it's good for a little more with a tailwind. Start to move to the right, go straight across, okay. you have plenty of time. Turn now, turn, start to turn. Turn more, turn more, give me power, give me power, hammer it, hammer it, go, 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 go. hammer it, hammer it. The camera fell. We don't have time to play with that. Excellent. Keep going. <laughs> 209! <laughs> it all got very serious when I buckled into the Ferrari 458 Italia. This is a true 200 mile per hour machine. 
I am looking forward to the actual feeling of going faster than 123 miles an hour. There's that threshold that, you know, some people limit themselves at 140-ish. And for me, speed isn't something that I fear. It's something that I almost anticipate. Woohoo! Are you excited? Oh yeah. Come on, dude, just give me the thumbs up. Okay, let's do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just the right side. Yep, sorry. <laughs> Okay, nice and tight, all the way down to the corner. Good for it. Turn. Let's squeeze it on. and I guess I wasn't on the brake. <laughs> when you get to the end, you've got to turn the wheel. <laughs> you all don't right. like me as a driver at all, do you? You need some more instruction. Um, so apparently they weren't kidding when you have to really, really hit on the brakes when you're going that fast. <laughs> I wasn't hitting them as hard as I thought I was and um, completely went off the end of the runway. <laughs> going 209 miles an hour and you're hitting the brakes, it's just not enough. I mean, you need to like stand yeah. on the brakes and that's why I ended up off the runway. It's hard to gauge how fast you're really going from 200 down to nothing. All right, so that's gonna do it. With the help of world-class driving, we both did it. Yeah, and a little bit of off-roading. We can officially check 200 miles per hour off of the list. <laughs> Thank you, we'll see you next time. And be sure to tell us what's on your list.